As the bulldozer rumbled through the construction site, few people knew the incredible story behind its invention. It was a tale of perseverance, ingenuity, and a race against time. But as the dust settled and the secrets were uncovered, the true genius behind this engineering marvel was finally revealed. Get ready to be swept up in the suspenseful story of how the bulldozer came to be and the incredible impact it has had on the world we live in today. A bulldozer is an extremely strong crawler, also known as a caterpillar track tractor, that has a blade attached to it. Although the term bulldozer is frequently used to refer to any large engineering vehicle, the name bulldozer technically refers to only a tractor that is normally tracked and has a dozer blade attached to it. This interpretation is applied in this context. On building sites, mines, roadsides, military posts, heavy industry factories, and huge government projects, bulldozers are a common sight. They have undergone several transformations throughout the course of time, which has led to the production of brand new machines like the loader tractor. It is helpful to have a very little bulldozer, which is frequently referred to as a calf dozer, in order to operate in small workspaces like mines. In spite of this, the original bulldozers that were used for earth moving are still indispensable because the majority of their work consisted of clearing forest land, moving the earth, leveling the terrain, and carving roads. The original Holt farm tractors, which were utilized for plowing fields, served as the basis for the construction of the first bulldozers. They were utilized as armored tanks during the First World War due to their adaptability in soft terrain, which made them useful for forestry and the construction of roads. It wasn't until the 1920s when tracked vehicles, most notably the Caterpillar 60, became widespread. In the front of these tractors was a big, thick metal plate that was used for a variety of earth-moving tasks, including digging canals, raising earth dams, and other similar activities. This plate, which was eventually shaped into a curve, is referred to as a blade. As the tractor moves forward, the blade scrapes away layers of earth and then carries that soil along behind it. Several different types of specialist blades have been invented, including rakes to remove enormous rocks, blades with razor-sharp edges to chop tree stumps, and blades designed to handle high-volume loads such as coal. In some of the first vehicles, the driver would sit on the open roof of the vehicle without any sort of enclosed cabin. Even though the attachments were first seen in 1929, they could be constructed at home or by small equipment manufacturers. At the time, the blades were referred to as bull grader blades. It wasn't until the middle of the 1930s that the word bulldozer blade appears to have become commonplace in everyday conversation. By the 1940s, the addition of power down force had established them as the go-to excavation machine of choice for both large and small contractors equally. At that point in time, the term bulldozer applied to the entire machine, not only the attachment that came with it. Throughout the years, as engineers needed equipment to execute large-scale earthworks, a number of companies including CAT, Komatsu, Fiat Alice, John Deere, International Harvester, Case, Liebherr, Terex, and JCB began manufacturing huge earth-moving machines of the track type, such as JCB. Other companies included Case, Liebherr, and Terex. Because of their massive size, loud operation, and strong performance, people refer to them as bulldozers. Over the course of their history, bulldozers have evolved to become larger, more powerful, and more technologically advanced. Important upgrades include engines with increased horsepower, driving trains with increased dependability, improved rails, and higher cabins. Additionally, hydraulic arms, as opposed to cable-operated arms like those seen on earlier models, have allowed for more accurate manipulation of the blade as well as automated control. A rear ripper claw is an attachment that can be added to bulldozers as an option. This attachment is used to remove rocky soils and tear up paved roadways. The Caterpillar Tractor Company is arguably the most well-known manufacturer of bulldozers. Caterpillar established its reputation as a manufacturer of equipment that is rugged, long-lasting, and dependable. Despite the fact that these machines started out as modified farm tractors, they are now a mainstay for large civil construction projects and have found their way into the use of military construction units all over the world. The Caterpillar D9, the company's most famous model, was also put to service in the process of destroying enemy buildings and clearing minefields. Large, powerful, tracked engineering vehicles are typically what we think of when we hear the word bulldozer. They are able to maintain a solid hold on the ground and maintain their mobility, despite the extremely rocky terrain thanks to the tracks. Because wide tracks assist distribute the weight 
of the bulldozer across a vast area, the pressure that is placed on the surface is reduced. Because of this, the bulldozer will not become mired in sandy or muddy ground. The extra wide tracks are sometimes referred to as swamp tracks. The torque divider on a bulldozer is designed to transfer the power of the engine into dragging capabilities. This allows the bulldozer to use its own weight to push very heavy things and remove obstructions that are lodged in the ground. Bulldozers have exceptional ground hold. To give just one example, the Caterpillar D9 is more than capable of pulling tanks that weigh more than 70 tons. As a result of these qualities, bulldozers are frequently utilized in the process of clearing areas of impediments, foliage, charred automobiles, and the remnants of constructions. When necessary, another piece of earth-moving machinery known as a scraper can be moved with the assistance of a bulldozer. The Toad Fresno scraper was the first device to allow this to be done economically. It removed the dirt from the cut and deposited it elsewhere on the shallow ground. James Porteous devised the invention in 1883. Bull blades are the common name given to those dozer blades that have a stronger center section designed specifically for this function. The blade and the ripper are the major implements used by the bulldozer. Ripper The ripper is a long instrument that resembles a claw and is mounted on the back of the bulldozer. Rippers can be purchased individually, referred as single shank rippers, or in groups of two or more, referred to as multi shank rippers. When doing severe ripping, a single shank is typically the best option. A tip made of tungsten steel alloy that can be replaced is attached to the ripper shank. Ripping rock enables the rock that is on the surface of the land to be broken into little rubble that is both easy to handle and carry. This rubble can then be removed so that grading may take place. Workers in the agricultural industry are able to use ripping to break up rocky or very hard dirt, making it possible to farm terrain that was previously very difficult to till. For instance, a significant portion of the most desirable real estate in the California wine area is made up of historic lava flows. The lava is smashed using huge bulldozers like the Caterpillar D9 and the Caterpillar D11, which makes it possible for the wine business to practice sustainable agriculture. Orchards are able to be planted on terrain that would not have supported their growth had the ground not been broken up and made less compact through a process known as a decompaction. About its blade The bulldozer blade is a piece of heavy metal plate that is attached to the front of the tractor. Its purpose is to shove things, overcome difficult obstacles, and push sand, dirt, and other trash. There are typically three distinct types of dozer blade that are mounted on the front of the tractor. A straight blade, also known as an S-blade, is a short blade that is designed for precision grading and does not have any lateral curves or side wings. A tall and very curved universal blade, also known as a U-blade, that features huge side wings to accommodate a greater volume of material. A shorter SU combination blade that is less curved and has less curvature, as well as side wings that are smaller. This blade is frequently employed in situations when enormous piles of rocks need to be moved, such as in a quarry. Dozer blades are often installed permanently on combat engineering vehicles, but they are also capable of being retrofitted to other types of military vehicles, such as artillery tractors, such as the Type 73 or M8 tractor. Dozer blades have a variety of purposes in combat, including removing barriers from the battlefield and setting up firing positions. Modifications Over their course of their history, Bulldozers have undergone a number of advancements that have led to the development of new machines that are able to perform tasks that the original bulldozer was unable to. The blade on loader tractors was replaced with a big volume bucket and hydraulic arms that could raise and lower the bucket, making the machine ideal for scooping up dirt and putting it into trucks. This is only one example of how loader tractors were developed. Another example is that loader tractors were formed by removing the blade. One of the other adjustments that were made to the first bulldozer was to make it smaller so that it could function in confined work areas with restricted movements, such as those found in mining. The term calf dozer is frequently used to refer to an extremely small bulldozer. Despite this, the original bulldozers used for earth moving are still indispensable due to the fact that the majority of their work involves clearing land, moving dirt, leveling terrain, and carving roads. Heavy bulldozers are utilized mostly for the purpose of leveling the ground in order to prepare it for construction. Despite this, the majority of the work on the construction is done by smaller bulldozers and loader tractors. 
uses of bulldozers. There are numerous places where bulldozers are utilized, including mines, roadsides, military locations, heavy industry factories, huge government projects, and construction sites of varying sizes. Some bulldozers, particularly those used by the military, have had armor added to them so that the driver can be shielded from enemy fire. This modification makes it possible for the bulldozer to operate in conflict zones. The IDF Caterpillar D9, which is employed by the Israeli Defense Forces for detonating explosive charges and demolishing structures while under fire, is possibly the most well-known armored bulldozer in the world. The process of manufacturing and installing the armor is carried out solely by the IDF and is not performed by Caterpillar. On the other hand, numerous customers, including the U.S. military, purchase armor kits from the Israeli Defense Force and install them on their own D9s. The armor kit adds an average of 10 tons to the weight of the bulldozer, which already weighs approximately 49 tons when it does not have the armor. The design of the armor kit might vary. The non-governmental civilian operators of some bulldozers have opted to equip their machines with armor in order to deter others from interfering with the work being done by the bulldozer. What are the similarities between bulldozers and bulls? It would likely be that the name bulldozer got its start from the practice of stronger bulls forcing their weaker competitors aside in strength contests that weren't taken too seriously outside of the mating season. During the mating season, these competitions take on a significantly more serious tone. That's all for the video today. We will be right back with more such videos. Don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next one.